Hello there, everybody. This is Graham, also known as The Collector 75, and welcome to a Marvel Legends series Guardians of the Galaxy figure review. Um, now, I don't usually do this. In fact, this is probably my first ever Marvel Legends series review. Um, I did review one other Marvel figure, but I'll come to that in a moment. So, yeah, I don't usually do these, but there is a good reason why I'm doing this one, because this one is a figure that as soon as I saw it the other day on YouTube, um, I went out my way to try and get it. That was literally about three days ago. The guy sent it to me really quick. I swear he bought it on Friday or Saturday night and it come this morning. Um, don't know how that works, but there we go. But I can't grumble with that. Yes, this is Death's Head 2, and I really like it. I, I mean, I actually love it. Um, I was never the biggest fan of Death's Head 2. Um, back in the day when he was about, I don't know, when was it? Around 92, give or take, for a year or two. Um, for me, he was the, the last remnants of Transformers. Uh, just because, obviously, the original Death's Head made his first appearance in Transformers and had some classic storylines in that. And then, obviously, he moved on from that. Um, got his own series and then they revamped him again, which I was never too keen on, into Death's Head 2. And so by then Transformers had gone um, and never likely to return. So again, that's why I sort of got that, because it was just some way of holding on to my childhood with Transformers and everything. Um, but saying that, I, there were elements I did like about the character. Not many, uh, if I'm honest. Um, I didn't like the new, new Death's Head. Um, because Gon was the, the merciless robotic bounty hunter and they'd sort of replaced him as a hero, um, as a, an adventurer rather than a bounty hunter. I can only ever remember one storyline um, with Death's Head 2 where he's actually um, offered money and he accepts money to do a job and I think that was Battletide. Could be wrong. But there we go. But that was quite a good storyline because I like to add Jeff Senior's artwork all over it. Uh, that was quite a good, yeah, it was quite a bit of the only storylines I can remember, really. So there we go, apart from the first one where he kills Death's Head and everything. But there we go. Anyway, that was um, a bit of a backstory on Death's Head 2. Uh, originally he was, um, I'll actually do a bit more, he was obviously the minion construct and he was assimilating personalities uh, to fight off some monstrous thing that, I can't remember, was it Miss, was it Miss, was it Miss Tech? It was somebody, I can't remember who it was. Should know it, really. Uh, yeah, some company um, knew that something was going to destroy them in the future, so they invented this, built this cyborg um, to defend this company when this threat turns up. don't know how, how they knew it was coming. I can't remember sadly they were trying to travel and all that rubbish. Um, yeah, so they use him, and he assimilates people's personalities, and Subject 105, I believe, was Death said, and he does a good job of doing that <laughs> unfortunately this thing went wrong when he assimilated him he went off the rails a little bit and malfunctioned and then a bit later on they helped death's head pers personality become the dominant personality that makes him up and um, but he obviously had then traits of all the other personalities hence why he stopped being so much as a bounty hunter more an adventurer and all that which i didn't like but there we go uh right so that was your basic history of death's head let's have a look at this figure and this is an amazing figure he is absolutely brilliant let me move this back just slightly he is fantastic he is just got articulation all over the place he's got the usual stuff he can move he's got the bicep muscles he's got everything and this chunky arm because obviously with death's head 2 he didn't replace his hand like the original death said this was all morphing liquid metal a bit like the terminator because obviously this guy borrowed a heck a lot from some of those films from the 90s. I mean, the guy with the, I mean, this guy has dreadlocks and everything, and the mask. It looks very Predator. Um, this was like Terminator 2, um, and just, and then you've got all the spikes and everything, which is the common thing in the 90s. Um, but he just looks fantastic. I love this figure. Um, he's got so much good articulation. I'm actually afraid to bend certain joints because I don't want to break him, but I'm sure it'd be fine. But he just looks great. You can turn the head left and right. Actually, let me do that. There we go. You can turn it left and right. And look at that head sculpt. That is one crazy head sculpt. Look at all the organic parts. Because obviously now he's a cyborg, he had certain human parts or something. And these horns, they actually look very sharp, but they are that soft rubber, so they're not actually going to hurt you. But it just looks, and he's got one robotic eye. I don't know if it's going to show. And then you've got one human eye. 
and that is just it just looks immense so now he's about six to seven inches um so he just looks the nuts and he do get an extra hand he doesn't come with the extra part that some of the others do to make up another figure don't know why this guy don't but don't I'm um, not that bothered really because I'm not going to get any others and I'm not really interested in that Marvel figures unfortunately just not my thing um, but yeah you can replace his hand with this hand so from a clenched fist he goes to a this fist and what this is doing I have no idea I suppose he could be pointing at something <gasps> Jesus Christ look at that coming um, or doing something else with that clenched fist um, there we go um, yeah I don't know. I was trying to get him into a pose um, where he could be about to assimilate somebody's instincts. You could. I was hoping it was going to be like an open hand, so you could hold it like that, look at him like that, and then have this arm sort of like raised and bent round. But you're not going to get an extra click out of that. I don't think without breaking it. Um, so you could be like one leg on him there and everything and stuff like that. And he's about to give it some in the back of his neck. Um, but this he just looks brilliant. He's got a nice ab crunch there as well. So you can do that. Ooh, and then that one just where he's sticking his chest out looks a bit unnatural. But there we go. Um, he's got some great ankle tilts. So it helps with posing and everything. And I mean, this guy just looks great. I love this guy. Now, just for a size comparison, let's bring in the original Death Said. Here he is. Now, I believe he was a three and three quarter inch figure. Now, we need... This, this death said in this size that's what I always wanted um, this guy is great I'm glad we got a, I mean to be honest I think we were lucky that we got a death said figure at all really because um, he wasn't the most popular um, character in the Marvel Universe I mean he's popular especially with the UK fans mainly um, but more probably hardcore US fans probably not that interested in him which is a shame because he was a great character and deserves a figure that big with all the weapons that he should come with rather than just the Mega 2 that he came with and because really I want a death set that can take on Galvatron and this figure looks like he could do that so you could with this one you can sort of do that obviously this guy's supposed to be human sized rather than transformer sized um, but that is what I want you know that is what I want with this guy in the background there this you know is, oh that would be great wouldn't it or a cyclone you could take down cyclonus and scourge and everything or maybe a death said with his original green and yellow colors would be best to be honest i'd love that but there we go um right i'm gonna leave this review there um just one random size comparison um i've got uh hank from thomas the tank engine there we go put him down the bottom there that's quite a nice size i think um, yeah, oh yeah, there was one other figure I did want to, oh, there we go, ah, I burnt myself bloody light, uh, right, if I can reach him, we've got 12 seconds left, this is Superboy Prime, and I like this size as well, because I wanted him next to these figures here, this is my ideal size, yeah, this is my ideal size for a figure that I want, I do have lots of the DC Classics collection, um, they're like a six inch figure, and he scales pretty well with Death's Head, um, so you got Death Said could take down all them DC figures there, and especially Superboy Prime because he's probably the hardest figure in the DC universe. He is hard as nails. Uh, right, okay, yeah, I'm going to leave this review there. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, he's a great character, and I like it. I can't remember. He cost me about twenty. He cost me twenty-eight pounds off eBay on a buy it now. Um, I possibly could have got it cheaper, but I wanted it, and I didn't want to miss out on it because I've missed out on certain figures before and you know i just wanted it right this has been graham the collector 75 feel free to comment rate subscribe share and hit the notification bell so you can see when i've got a latest review though to be honest i do i try and upload one every day usually in the evenings uh right you can also support my channel using the coffee link below if you feel that way um, other than that, this has been Graham. I shall see you all next time. And if you're going to TF Nation, I shall be there. I just watched Soundwave SG-1's latest TF Nation video. And it does... Yeah, I can't wait for TF Nation. I really enjoyed TF Nation last year. And so I think this year is going to be great. Um, I'm doing my best to get some money. Um, I've got enough at the moment. But you can never have too much. Especially with me. I, I spend money like it's going out of fashion sometimes. Anyway, right, um, that's enough rambling for me. Uh, I shall see you all next time.
Bye for now.